Hey pilots and aircraft owners, welcome to the video. If you're joining us from the previous video that it runs you through a review on the NGT 9000 series transponder, we're glad to have you. If you haven't checked that out, check it out either before or after this video. It runs you through a full simulator and demonstration and review on the actual transponder. I think you'll like it. So again, glad you're here. We're going to talk about the frequently asked questions regarding the NGT 9000 series transponder. I want to shift over to a couple things that me personally, questions I had. Again, this is the NGT 9000 ADS-B in and out transponder. We have a unique situation. We have an aircraft that we fly for personal use as well as it is a leaseback aircraft. So we had to figure out a unit that is attractive to both parties. Uh, so we think this unit will be the most attractive and beneficial to our mission. Question number one I came up with, unit launched, or when was it launched? It was launched in 2015. It's grown in popularity, you can imagine why. It's a pretty slick and unique transponder. Can only be installed by a dealer, which we talked about. Does it come with a screen protector? No. However, the screen is extremely durable. Question three, option for manufacturer to update screen options. My thought on that was because it's a screen and digital, will the manufacturer ever upgrade the package to add an additional page for example on this side there's only four pages will the manufacturer add you know page five six seven and eight down the road and will it only be a software upgrade through this little port here and the manufacturer that i was talking to on the phone said yes uh, the capability to add additional screens and restructure the display with software updates uh, is something that they are going to do over the years which is pretty cool question four does the unit come with warranty yes three-year warranty and covers everything for unit replacement question five can aircraft owner complete software upgrades only if installed in an experimental aircraft updates can be completed by your local avionics store question six is the unit multi-voltage capable i was curious about this because with the Cessna 152, we have a 24 volt system, and the couple of reviews I read, they were all in 12 volt system aircraft. So I did call and ask this question: Is it multi voltage? Yes, unit can be installed in a 12 volt or a 24 volt, which adds to resale value. Number seven: How does the unit get GPS signal to EFBs? It's ported through a built-in Wi-Fi, and again, it has a built-in WAS signal or antenna and it communicates with several apps for your Apple and Android units and it will not communicate with Garmin Pilot which is okay because there are so many other features and apps that it does communicate with. Question 8, can you connect multiple EFBs? Yes, up to 6. Number 9, how does unit react to sub-zero weather conditions? I had that question because most of the time in the winter instruments slow down and don't boot up properly and efficiently right away so he said no reported complaints, which is pretty cool. Number 10, can you use a smartphone gloves to maneuver to the display? We've all got a smartphone touchscreen, and some of us have those gloves that have those little tip that allow you to maneuver the screens without having to take your glove off. And he said yes, it is a pressure sensored rather than heat sensored, so you could have any type of glove from, from his point. Is the display screen itself replaceable? He said that in most cases the manufacturer would rather send you a new unit if you have trouble with the actual screen as opposed to swapping out the screen. Is a monthly yearly software subscription required? No, one-time install with options to unlock all available features. What is the price of each upgrade? Like anything, it's cheaper to add everything now rather than later. However, you have the option to add later as opposed to now. These numbers are based on a couple different quotes I got. Can you turn off Aurora audio traffic callouts? Yes, in settings and aircraft downtime about a week and, and this is in most cases the price of the install upwards of 10.9 if you want every single feature. So again, just a really cool transponder that me personally when I install it in the aircraft it's not going at the very bottom of the stack it will be promoted to the top of the stack as I would imagine you would do as well so go check out the l-3links.com I'm a huge fan of this unit 
and it's going to allow you to go through the different types of models as you can see here explore news testimony resources and check out that simulator as you can see right here it's this guy's having fun with it these are all the apps that the unit is compatible with as you can see I believe most of you have at least one or two of these downloaded and are familiar or users of those so they are compatible with which is cool give you a sneak peek if you unlock and pay for the terrain version and anytime you get close to terrain you'll hear this on this transformer terrain terrain pull up pull up so that's pretty cool I'm sure your previous transponder doesn't talk to you as far as the ATOS if you unlock that you'll hear this if you get too close to an aircraft traffic traffic 11 o'clock high two miles and again, in the settings, you can turn this off. So if you're with a student and you're doing pattern work, probably the last thing you want to hear is that thing going off the whole time you're in the traffic pattern. So again, this feature can be turned off. Hey, thanks again. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Every video that we upload, you will be notified. You'll be able to stay in tune with us. Fly safe.